suddenly laugh order. There is hope. Finally, oh, there is hope. Oh, there is hope. Oh, this isn't over. We are finally on the way. A song from the show Parade, which sold out show after show last fall at the New York City Center. Parade tackles themes of anti-Semitism and racism, telling the real-life story, a love story, of Leo and Lucille Frank, a newlywed Jewish couple living in Georgia in 1913. And joining us now, Tony Award-winning actor Ben Platt and Michaela Diamond, his co-star. We've been teasing this morning a big announcement. Good morning to you both. Good morning. morning. What's the news? <laughs> we are really excited that we get to say that our show Parade is moving to Broadway. All right. Uh, yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. We're very excited. Yes, our first preview is February 21st, mm -hmm. and uh, we open March 16th, and it's at the Bernard B. Jacobs Theater. Uh, and we're just thrilled and honored, and it's just the perfect story at the perfect time. Yeah. And I'm really grateful to do it with Michaela. I just want to give our audience some insight about how close you guys are. From the moment you sat down, you've been <laughs> holding hands, literally holding hands. This is not for the show. This is just how you guys are. Yeah. Love it. We uh, deeply love each other. I can <laughs> tell. That's great. We are married. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why the that's show it. works. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, Michaela, for people who don't know the story of Parade and don't know this real life story, tell us a little bit about the Franks and everything they went through. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not the happiest of yeah. shows, unlike the title, kind of maybe says um, but essentially you meet Leo Frank and Lucille Frank who uh, are married and um, Leo is accused of murdering a 13 year old girl in his pencil factory that he runs um, and it's kind of the trials of that story and um, you kind of see their marriage and their fight for justice um, because he's accused because he is a Jewish man and um, it's a really gray story that I think is really important to tell right now with the rise of anti-Semitism happening in this country. And, you know, when they first did it in 1999, I think maybe the country wasn't ready for that. Um, and we are now here to Jewish people for the first time playing these roles professionally. And uh, it feels really right to share this story with everyone. And we did it at City Center recently and it was received so beautifully and people were really moved by it so and we're really excited I think that's part of the reason beyond your outstanding performances so resonated is because it does all of a sudden again feel like it's of the moment Ben and I'm wondering what it feels like for the both of you to have sort of the responsibility to carry and tell this story it, it's definitely it, it definitely is a responsibility that's well said and there's there's a certain amount of pressure but it's I think it's the good kind of pressure because I, I think we both feel like as actors you want to tell the stories that you're the right person to tell and Michaela and I in terms of the places we are in our lives age-wise and the fact that we are both Jews and we, we really feel like the people to administer these particular characters mm -hmm. and to try to paint this marriage uh, close to what it might have been and and what it would have been like to go through something like this <clears throat> and so I think you know, our responsibility it really falls to just making sure that every show um, lands as as fully and as equally as the show before. Um, you know, as we were discussing before, it's a lot of performances, and mm -hmm. so it's about keeping the story fresh and um, and as real for each audience. And it's such there's a resonance now with what's happening today. We should note the trial of Leo Frank spurred the creation of the Anti Defamation yeah. League, still very much with us. Uh, so, Michaela, so moving into Broadway is obviously a, a huge deal. Um, <laughs> and, and to talk to us though, your run so far, what has the response from the crowd been like to this story, which it obviously impacts its, its love story, but also an emotional hard story too. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of people come to me with different stories. One of my friends saw the show and, you know, Leo sings the Shema at the end of the show and her mom and her used to sing that song before going to bed who passed away and that brought her kind of just tears of joy and hope and there's a lot of, you know, questions after this show of like, what does it mean to be an American? What did it mean to be Southern? What does it mean to be Jewish? Why do we hide our Jewishness? It's just it brings up a lot of discussion about identity, about, you know, falling in love through trauma. It's a lot of... Absolutely. Hard 
questions. And I feel like what makes the show so special, you know, this is a revival, so it's been, especially by the theater community, quite a beloved piece for a long time. Yes. And uh, I think that, you know, Jason Robert Brown, the composer, and Alfred Urey, the book writer, and uh, Harold Prince, the late Harold Prince, who helped to conceive it in the first place, all Jewish men, um, I think what they did so beautifully is to place this very difficult and large story against the backdrop of a very intimate and human marriage and, and a love story. And the, the beautiful kind of romance and scoring of that, I think, really cushions the blow of some of the more difficult elements in the show, and it's like kind of kind of a beautiful um, mixture. Yeah, um, you've been been such a prominent and beloved figure on Broadway. It's Dear Evan Hansen and all the other things you've done. There were some concerns around the pandemic. Uh oh, Broadway is it going to come back? It, I'm going to see a show tonight. I mean, yes. I have to see it in the theaters <laughs> are, are full. Does it feel to you? And this is another big step back with Parade that Broadway is clawing its way back. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I certainly felt, as everybody did, such a fear that we wouldn't get back to where we were. And I think um, there's just something so irreplaceable and untouchable about live theater and that experience. And so much has been changed by the pandemic. So to have a feeling so preserved when you go back into a theater and get to experience that again is a very irreplaceable thing. And I think it's actually really improved in many ways. There's been a lot of important <clears throat> conversations around inclusion and the treatment of artists and, and the racial discussion. So many things have happened that I think have made the theater stronger. So I'm I'm excited to be part of the community again in this kind of new light. But we cannot wait to see the show. Performances of Parade, as Ben said, begin February 21st at the Bernard B. Jacobs Theater in New York City, then opening on March 16th. Ben Platt, Michaela Diamond, congratulations to yes. Broadway. Yay. Thank you. Great to see you both. <laughs> we'll see you at the theater. Thanks, guys. Coming up next.